Hello, welcome back. I'm Anuradha Modak and today I'm here to discuss about snakes, the reptile and enlightenment. Now if we go through different cultures like uh, Greek, Roman, Egyptian and Indus Valley, mainly the esoteric cultures, we will find there are numbers of stories related to the characters and god goddess who are have the embodiment and the energies of the reptiles mainly the snakes now the energies of snakes are depicted in these stories in negative connotation which means in evil connotation as well as in positive connotation which means in a very very highly enlightened creature or energy systems so we have the example of medusa who got the serpentine energy but could really curse other in a negative way and as a result the energy which she carried was not the energy of healing was not the energy of letting go the past as well as if we see the other aspect of snakes in other stories they exist as highly enlightened being like the snakes with lord shiva like the snake with lord vishnu the snake with lord shiva is the vasuki the vasuki is that serpentine energy which typically holds all the planets and cosmic energies together on the top of its hood and similarly the snake of lord vishnu the sheshnaga the sheshnaga is the one which carry forward the energy from the previous creation and use it for the next level of next generation for infinite creations now when we talk and address about dimensions or the lokas I have one of the videos which mention in detail about the different lokas so the lokas and dimension really helps us to understand the shifting consciousness in the present now so as per to the vedic details we have the earth zone or the 3d zone and there are seven different dimension below it as well as seven different dimension above it so the dimensions or the lokas are nothing else but different stages of consciousness which we are picking at a given point of time the stage of consciousness which is actually about the arrangement of the entire system to build up a certain perspective the perspective which we are radiating or projecting outside so that ultimately we experience something aligned to it so when a being really align the serpentine energy which is typically said to be the energy of the underworld which is typically said to be the energy from the previous life or the past or the areas which we need to heal which we really need to let go which are related to our previous lives so snake or the serpentine as a being they are with vertebrates and have great ability to feel earth they have great ability to regenerate the body the reptiles have the great ability to regenerate the body and similar power is there with humans as well which means the human cell also possess 
the similar quality of regeneration. Because if we focus on the embryo developments in human, we will find that the human embryo also go through the similar kind of evolution as that with the status of amphibians, birds and further to mammals. So the quality also proceeds and carried forward within it. And the most significant quality is to use the negative energy and further turn it and divert it into higher form of energy. Now this is the special characteristic and quality of the serpentine being. The serpentine have both the ability to get into a completely anxious mode, to get into high anxiety, jealousy, guilt, fear, lower vibration, plus on the opposite, rising with the kundalini energy, which is again the dormant serpentine and realizing the true potential of the being. Now, if we are not conscious about our own development, we do understand every other energy system do impact us. So whether they are planets or beings in our surrounding, they do impact us. When we take a conscious effort to take control of our own behavior, own mindset, own state of mind, then the rest of the significant difference is measured completely different because we are the projecting creator. But as a fact, the planets... For example, the shadow planets, the Rahu and the Ketu, the North Pole and the South Pole in astrological studies will depict the same serpentine snake's energy. The Rahu, the North Pole, depicts a very high level of anxiousness, attachment, masculine energy, and to the opposite, the Ketu, the South Pole, represent detachment, femininity, past life. So when the being uses the energy from the past life or the learnings of the past life, the Ketu's energy, and divert it towards the purpose of the life, which is the Rahu's energy, they really align the entire energy system. And as a result, they're working on the kundalini energy arising. And the serpentine, the snake, which has a head of Rahu and the tail of Ketu, is now fully aligned in its energy state. Because the energy which is the cause of attachment is the same energy which can lead to detachment. So once the being understand the ratio of the same energy and synchronize the entire nervous system, the being is able to heal the past, the being is able to transcend to higher energy system and dimension. Now the same thing is there when we try to address how as human we behave with respect to our brains. So the human to have mainly three different parts of the brain. We all possess a small part of the brain which is known as the reptilian brain. The reptilian brain contains the features of that which I discussed as the snake's evil side or the negative side or the negative energy which represent the energy of the fight and flight mode and which is typically the 3D victim's mind as being transformed the energy from the victim's mind to the higher state, the being comes to the fourth dimension and further to the fifth dimension. 
the fifth dimension which is more of god self and using the divine energy to align with the rest of the energy system gives human the superpower of imagination as different spiritual scientists like raman maharishi abdullah never got up even in their lecture have been explaining the most effective way of enlightenment is to believe in the now and use the power of the fifth dimension which is through imagination which is through making the self easy with transiting the fact of the energy which were related to the past accepting now surrendering to the supreme self and finally living through living and energizing through the fifth dimension which is the combination of the human and the divine mind as the the son and the father is operating equally through the body mind and soul and activating the trinity within the system so one of the basic fundamental way of harnessing the energy of the snakes within the system is to accept is to accept the past is to accept the things which are negative is to accept the emotion as we might be feeling in the present now and then to transcend to the higher state of belief the higher state of imagination and live through that now this is the basic fundamental reason why in indian tradition we do have different puja ritual ceremony related to the snakes as well we have ceremonies like nag panchami where we worship the snake which is fundamentally to accept the beingness of the snake's energy or the reptilian's energy within us and may we harness all the connecting energies of life across us and feel that within us and live the life of connectivity Thank you so much. Have a wonderful life. Take care.